Tonight is a special night for real college basketball fans and fake college basketball fans across the globe, the national championship game. So this year is going to be played between Villanova and North Carolina, man. It should be a good one. Me being me, I decided to take to 2K, so I found a roster that actually showcased a bunch of different NCAA teams. I created the jersey, created everything else, and here we go with this video. First, let me give you the definition of a real college basketball fan. So a real college basketball fan is a guy that's been following the season from the very beginning. But then we have the fake college basketball fans that only come around in March time. So if you have a group of friends, let's say you have six friends. And that six friends, there's usually one real college basketball fan. And then the other five are fake college basketball fans. And then there's me. I'm one of those fake college basketball fans. I'll be the first to admit it. I know a lot of guys don't usually admit it because it makes them seem like less of a basketball fan. But I am one of those guys. I only come around in March time because that's when things are most intense. Things are played at their peak. And that's when I jump in. This NCAA tournament has been an exciting one, man. A bunch of buzzer beaters, a bunch of close games, and a couple blowouts. We're not going to talk about the Final Four, buddy. But since it's been so good, I'm honestly making a conscious effort next season to start watching from the beginning so I can have an idea of what teams are going to be good when we get to March. But in the tournament, I've actually watched all of Villanova's games and all of North Carolina's games, and this should be a good one, man. Villanova has been tearing things up, playing a solid defense. I think they're only allowing like 60 points a game. And then you go to North Carolina, who are who just tearing it up offensively. They're averaging like 90, so it should be a nice little battle. But since I don't know much, I decide to take it to 2K. I wanted 2K to decide for me who I'm going to think is going to win the national championship game. And the beginning of this game is really solid, man. I'm controlling some of the teams, but halfway through the game, I was like this is weird i mean how am i supposed to predict who's gonna win when i'm controlling one of the teams so let, let forget this man let's let's skip to the end let's see how it ends so when we pick things up it's tied up 100 100 with 130 seconds left you guys remember 1983 that national championship game yeah me either but according to some old people that i talked to that was an instant classic and this one's looking like it's gonna be an instant classic too so villanova trying to get something going against this defense i talked about how earlier villanova's defense has been clamping up According to 2K, they've given up 100 points, the most they've given up all tournament. But look at this, one second left, he somehow gets past his defender, throws up the shot, but he misses, and now North Carolina is on the attack. Fast break, floater goes up, and it's cash. Up by two with a minute left, but Villanova, they're not going to worry, man. You never know what can happen. A minute is a long time to score two points, so they're taking their time. You know, in the NCAA, they got 35 seconds, but since we're on 2K, they only got 24, and they only needed 12. Nice three-point shot right there, giving them a one-point lead with a minute left. So now, North Carolina has to be in attack mode. They have to be in attack mode. Still a lot of time, though, right there. They're going to give it to the man in the post. He don't want the ball. He gave it right back up to the guard, and the guard's trying to get something going. Pick and roll coming. See the road man, look, he's open at the top of the key. For some reason, he takes a dribble, missing that shot. So now they're down by one, and the opposing team has the ball with 40 seconds left. They got to clamp up, man. If they give up a three, this game is over. They can probably afford to let them hit a three or two, but um, they missed that layup. So they pretty much have one full shot clock to get some points on the board. What is North Carolina going to do? In this situation, I think they would normally call timeout, but they're giving it down to the big man. He's trying to get something going. They get fouled. I think that's Justin Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. The guy gets fouled. He actually had a pretty good game. I watched this entire game, by the way. I watched this entire game. Just let it go, and uh, it was a good one. It definitely was a good one. So he needs to make both of these free throws for his team to be up by one. 16 seconds left. Let's see what he does at the free throw line. First one is going to go up. How is it going to go? It rattles in. Hit almost every part of the rim, but it goes in. He got to make this one. He'll be the clutchest man in North Carolina history behind the GOAT himself, Michael Jordan, if he makes the second one. So, he's getting ready, taking his time. It goes up, and he misses it. So, Villanova gets the rebound. Calls timeout. 16 seconds left. They have a lot of time to get the offense going. A lot of time. So, let's see what Villanova is going to draw up. This should be a good one, man. Like I said, it's an instant classic. I'm going to actually miss the game live, and I'm going to be at home, or I'm going to be at work when the game's going on. Once I get off work, I got to watch it. I'm going to cut off my, my social media, cut off my TV. I don't want to know what the results are until I watch it myself. But here we go. 15 seconds left. They're trying to get something going. Look at this play right here. They gave it to the guy at the top of the key. One thing you cannot do is get beat back door. Oh, my God. That was just way too easy for them five seconds left still some time for North Carolina to get a nice shot but will it happen we're gonna have to wait and see so the boy right here Chris Jenkins has been having a hell of a game I think he put up 33 
and that's just ridiculous. Is he gonna do that tonight? We, we won't know until about 8 o'clock Central Time, but five seconds left. Are they gonna get a good shot off right here? Coming off the screen, I think that was a solid look, but they had a lot of time. They blew it. Villanova wins the championship. Now, who do you think are gonna win the championship? Be sure to comment down below. Be sure to leave it a like if you enjoyed this video. It's the King of the Fourth Quarter. Thanks so much for watching.